This month, we're talking about spirituality and home. And I want to point toward this story of Jesus from the Gospel of Luke, where Jesus is wandering through the countryside and he comes to the house of Martha to eat dinner. Uh, Martha is there with her sister Mary. And as Jesus and his people have come to her house, Martha is in the kitchen making dinner. And while she is in the kitchen making dinner, her sister Mary is outside sitting at Jesus's feet, listening to Jesus talk about the teachings. Martha comes out of the kitchen, upset to be making dinner by herself, and asks Jesus to reprimand her sister for not helping in the kitchen. And Jesus says something like, Martha, you are worried and upset about many things, but Mary has chosen the best thing and it will not be taken from her. There's quite a few things I find compelling about this story. Uh, the first being that this could be used as evidence that Jesus welcomed women into his ministry, perhaps even into his discipleship. The other piece is how these two people, Martha and Mary, to me really represent these different yearnings that we each have around home, how we want to do home well. We want to have food and hospitality present in our daily lives, and we also want to be seekers, to have a life outside of the home. And there is this tension between these two archetypes that I think we all carry and try to find the balance between these two that will sustain us. I know I certainly find that in my own home life. I have growing children and it seems that the schedule of meals and cleaning is relentless each day and could easily consume every hour of my waking life. I'm grateful that my children are getting to a point where they're old enough that we can really teach them how to participate in the meals and the cleaning so that my husband and I are not alone in these tasks. Because I do think that is what Martha was most upset about, if I can imagine myself as her. I think that it is the being alone in doing these things that, that makes it so challenging, being alone, feeling like we are the only ones carrying this responsibility while others get the enjoyment of the responsibility. And then there is Mary. There's Mary who is the spiritual seeker, the Mary who very much wants to be fulfilled in what she is learning uh, away from these domestic tasks, away from the routines of daily life. And so she is in the company of Jesus. She's learning. She's a student. She's a seeker. And Jesus says this will not be taken from her. My husband and I realized that we really wanted to see if we could find this balance, this sweet spot between honoring what we wanted out of our domestic life and also honoring what we wanted beyond our domestic life. And so we had this opportunity to get rid of our house and to move into an RV, to not have any furniture, any, we didn't have a big house to clean. We really simplified our financial life. A lot of the, the strains of domesticity were taken away with that choice of moving to an RV. And we really felt like this was the formula for being able to have a fulfilling domestic life, but one that was really based on our relationships, where our family was going to be spending more time together and less time just t maintaining uh, the house and all the finances that go along with that. And so we we did that, and I remember it was about a month into our time in the RV, which was great, by the way, about a month into that that time where we, the water heater broke. 
And it was not a big deal. We got the water heater replaced. But to me in that moment, there was this, this insight about how, oh my gosh, this is never completely reconciled. I mean, we want to have warm water. We want to have a, a roof over our heads. And we can't just do away with the domesticity. There are ways to simplify it, but we can't, there is no just getting away from it. We will always have to, no matter how much we simplify, we will always have to find ways of reconciling these two archetypes that are so well represented in this story of Martha and Mary. So the moral of this story, if you will, as it's presented in the Gospel of Luke, very much points toward Mary as being the person to follow the way of being a student of Jesus, a student of God, of what is holy and right. But I lift up the archetype of Martha as well in this month uh, when we are reflecting on home to have us recognize that both of these yearnings are important and valid in the wholeness of who we are each day, to be someone who nurtures our home life and also is able to reach beyond, and that we're not able to find that balance perfectly in every day of every phase of our life, that very often we go through phases where we our home life is more demanding. We may have growing children or a sick parent or uh, someone in our family that needs special care where the tasks of cooking and cleaning and tending to our home life is all consuming. And then we may have other phases of our life where perhaps we're in school or in a job that's particularly challenging and all of our energies are going to who we are outside of our life and we tend to our domesticity in the most simple ways we we eat over the sink we you know we just shove clutter under the under the rugs we just do the minimal amount so that we can stay engaged in our own development and so i ask you in this time of your life where are you in these balancing points between nurturing that yearning that's represented by martha and that yearning that's represented by mary <laughs>